get the inside of here, we so we say this is the concave surface. So it's a concave surface. I remember this as though like if you're walking into the cave, it's concave. The other way, if the light was to hit on the outside, this we call convex. So concave, walking into the cave, well, the light is gonna go into the cave. Convex, it's gonna hit the outside. Okay, now the way the light behaves with a concave mirror is that it will actually focus into a specific point. So the light, you can see it there, it's traveling in straight lines. I've used the triple um, beam here just so we can see how it's behaving. Um, so we've got three beams that are gonna hit the mirror and they're gonna get reflected towards one another to create what we call a focal point or a focus. Okay, so you can see that point here. All right, see how all of those three beams, they all focus onto the same point after being reflected off that curved mirror. And the way that we would draw this is exactly the same as all the other ways, okay? So you would um, trace the inside of your mirror, trace where the light box is, mark where the three rays are exiting the light box, mark where they hit the mirror, and the extra bit you would be labeling is marking where the focal point is and then connecting up your lines so that you can see that. Um, now, when, if we're looking at a convex mirror, here, the complete opposite happens. So instead of uh, the rays being focused towards one another and we end up with a focal point, this actually causes the light to disperse. So you can see that as the light hits the mirror, those beams are moving outwards, not towards one another.